this last weekend, or this last week, we've had um, great games, great playing. Um, in Western Oregon, we were came out a little bit slow, didn't, not as well as we wanted to. And then once we regrouped and got our rhythm back, we were on top of it. And then Spain was able to put away our two goals. Thank goodness for Spain. Um, and then on Saturday, we had a great game against Concordia. They're new in our conference, so it was great to be able to like see how they're playing, and we held them really well. For you, slotting in, you've had, played a major role defensively. What has it been like uh, transitioning into the team and playing next to um, two very experienced center backs on the defensive side? It's been great getting back into it. Um, Kate and Carrie have helped me so much. They're so strong, and they have so much um, like advice to give. And me being out for a year or two, it's been great having them back there to help me out. Your thoughts on the level of competition in the GNAC this year, and it's always tougher to play on the road. First, looking at Simon Fraser coming up on Thursday. Yeah, Simon Fraser's a great team, but I know um, we can take the win. We just have to play like how we play in practice, use anything we've learned so far, and from our past games, just bring those experiences out, and we'll do great. What have some of the returning players told you about what it's going to take to get back to the GNAC tournament? You know, they made it last year, and you kind of got to witness that, and now you're part of the squad. What is what has their message been in terms of that to you? Um, they've just told me it's a lot of hard work and dedication. you got to put everything out in the field. you got to use your heart, anything, and you got to stay together as a team. MSUB women hitting the road this week to take on Simon Fraser and St. Martin's. Alicia, what's it been like uh, being a freshman forward on the team this year and fitting in uh, with the Yellow Jackets so far? Um, as a freshman, I've definitely like improved a lot. Everyone coming in, everyone has been very welcoming and definitely have helped out quite a bit. Um, playing up top next to Jessica Spang definitely has put an impact on my game. She definitely has impacted um, my style of game and has definitely helped me on the offensive end. Seeing the level of play at the college game, how does that differ from the high school level? And especially since you've had some success, you've already scored a couple goals. Um, what are the main differences in level of play? Um, it's definitely been a lot more competition. It's more fast paced and I have definitely like um, pushed forward and improved on that. Coming in, it was a little difficult, but I definitely have um, moved forward and improved on my um, soccer skills going in. What's the message that some of the older players like Jessica and even the juniors and seniors, the captains on the team that have given you about what it takes to be successful in the GNAC? You have a big road trip coming up. This is your first conference road trip. Um, what's their message been to you in terms of that? Um, they've definitely helped me out. They always push me to be better in games. They'll always um, be there by my side if I need help on anything. Um, if I have any questions, I can go to them. They're very um, open-minded and help a lot. All right, Coach Yellow Jackets getting ready to hit the road again and GNAC play a couple of solid matches this weekend at home. A very gritty come-from-behind 2-1 to -one victory over Western Oregon. Uh, let's talk about that game. You were down one nothing at halftime, and then Jessica Spang scoring two goals in the second half and a good defensive effort overall by the team in that match. Um, yeah, tough game. I mean, Oregon is a tough team, and uh, we kind of, uh, I would say, relaxed a little bit first half, and then second half, I mean, came out and uh, scored uh, two quality goals. Uh, I think that says a lot about uh, us, about our team, and also about uh, Haley and Jessica. They uh, really linked up together uh, very well on those two goals, and uh, um, yeah, it's definitely challenging. Uh, to, to, to get two goals in the second half. But uh, it was a good team team effort. And uh, yeah, the defense was pretty pretty solid in the second half as well. So um, yeah, pretty, I mean, pretty happy with the result. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was a good match. And then on Saturday, <laughs> two days later, you faced a team you'd never played before, Concordia, the GNAC's newest member, battled them to a scoreless overtime draw, and you only allowed four shots on target in that match. Talk about your team's defensive effort uh, in that match as well. Uh, yeah, I think uh, definitely uh, we were organized in the back. Uh, Chloe was, uh, was great. Uh, I, I mean, she, she got tested a little bit. Uh, she made the save she was supposed to make. Um, and all, all overall, just, you know, back four and, and, and even the whole team, uh, 
uh, I think we were pretty uh, organized and tough to break uh, down. So uh, that's why I think we just only give up four shots on goal uh, in uh, 110 minutes. Uh, uh, that's a you know a lot of credit uh, goes to the team and and also to the to the back four uh, players. Uh, Caitlin is a solid player. Uh, I, I, I don't really need to teach her much. She knows the game. She knows the game. She reads the game. She anticipates. Uh, she sits back. She uh, uses her strengths very well. Uh, and you know, I know as a coach what to expect uh, from Caitlin. Even if she makes a mistake, she is uh, super athletic and can uh, cover for herself. Uh, uh, yeah, she's been super solid, and, and as a, as a captain, she's I mean she's she's awesome as a as a leader, and and uh, and, and and the girls really respect her. So uh, I'm I'm very very happy with her, uh, the way she's playing and the way she's uh, uh, leading the team. And now you have two opponents coming up: Simon Fraser and St. Martin's this week. You remain undefeated in GNAC play, currently in second place with seven points, and undefeated at home. What's it going to take to continue that? Uh, winning mentality on the road this week? Oh, uh, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. Uh, Simon and, and, and St. Martin's are good teams, and uh, it, it, it's going to, we need to raise the level a little bit uh, more on the road than, than, than at home. It's, uh, it's always a little bit harder to play away, and uh, um, we just have to come out with the same mentality, which uh, I think it's, it, we have it, and now. Uh, um, we've got a, we've definitely got a good momentum going, and uh, uh, the girls are excited. They're excited to play. They're excited to to win. Uh, they're excited to train. So um, uh, it's a it's a good atmosphere to have uh, uh, in your team. So well, yeah, we're definitely looking forward. But we know those two games will be will be a tough tough games.